Hello everyone, welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. In this episode I'll be showing you how to take a vehicle like this, but make it with suspension. Now I'll show you, I'll try to show you how suspension will actually help your vehicle. So if you, I've made a little bit of an obstacle course here. Now if you go over one wheel at a time, as you can see it's, it does it, somewhat, but it's a little bit difficult. A little bit difficult. And this is almost the same vehicle as that without suspension. I think it's a little bit shorter or longer. The size might be a bit different. Now let's have a look at this. This is a vehicle with suspension. It's a bit bouncy. If you have a look, it goes over it with no trouble. See, right here, you might think, ah, foiled. But look, it's just that I haven't lined it up properly. The block got in the way. <laughs> it's still getting in the way. You know, you test it multiple times and it doesn't happen and then you get in the game and it does. But yeah, hopefully you can see some what of a difference there in how easily this vehicle got across. Alright, now to make it, it's quite easy. It's pretty similar to the other build we made. So you start off with the platform. Doesn't have to be too, uh, doesn't have to be too long. It can be any size you want as long as when you test it, it doesn't just flip. And by that I mean, if it's too long, it might flip. If it's too short, it might flip. You just got to test. So, place your bearings on the corners where you want your steering wheels. And then place blocks on the bottom of them. Then, if you press I and you search suspension. I'll search again. Suspension. Over here, you've got sports suspension and off-road suspension. For this, we'll be using our off-road one. So, you just drag it into a spot on your hotbar. Select it. And just simply place it on the bottom of the blocks. Then what you want to do, lift up your vehicle a bit uh, a bit higher, place blocks on the bottom of those. As you can see, when you hover over it, it makes it green, so that shows you that it's connected. It makes the uh, suspension green, highlighted. There we go. Then, simply place your bearings where you want your wheels to go, place your wheels on them. Well, what you pretty much do is just build it like you would any other vehicle, like you would that one over there. Place down your seat and your engine. Remember to hook up your engine to the seat. Hook up your turning bearings. So those ones are the ones you put on the bottom of this and on top of that block. Then we want to, because we remember from the last one, when we made that one, we had to change these front wheels so that these would turn left and these ones would turn right, causing the entire vehicle to go to the left. If you're confused about what I mean there, Check out my last video where I built that vehicle without the suspension, and I go through it all. And then hook up your wheels to your engine. All four of them if you want. Doesn't have to be all four, but usually if you want to go off-roading, you want it to be all four. Rotate these so they're all going in the same direction, being forward. And that is pretty much it. If we delete this, we can actually see the suspension already working. We'll up the engine up a little bit. Also, so that it doesn't flip, and it does, I just add some extra wheels at the bottom here. If you make your vehicle a bit wider, and uh, not as narrow as mine, you might not have to do this. But once again, just a lot of experimenting, see what works for you. So now, as this, without touching the suspension, we can see how well it works. Might even work better than how I had it before. And there you go, if you're happy with that, that's it. But what you can also do, depending on the weight of your vehicle and depending on the obstacle you're going on, if you press E on the suspension, you can change the resistance. So the lower the number, you have to change it on both the front ones to actually see it, the lower the resistance, so it's more uh, bouncy, I guess. Whereas if I up it to, let's say, 7, look at that, it just shoots up. So that's 1, and that's 7. <laughs> and even just like from 2 to 3, you can see the difference, or from 2 to 5. Just instant. So if your vehicle's heavier, you probably want more resistance, especially if it's going to be like bouncing a lot. But for this, we can just have two, and it's nice and uh, bouncy and floppy. So you make sure they're all two. You have to change it for each of them individually, and then that's it. That's your vehicle done. As you can see, though, it does make it a lot more, <laughs> I guess, bouncy when you turn. But then we can come back over here, check out our wheels, make sure they all work. Maybe approach it at a better angle. 
And there you go. This might help you go through different obstacles if you're playing an obstacle course map or in a challenge, or even if you just want uh, a fast car that, you know, looks cool, <laughs> I guess, or it can go over little tiny bumps without just bouncing all, the, all over the place. There you go. That's how you make it. You can mess around with the design, apply these mechanics into whatever you want, and yeah, let me know how that goes for you. Also, let me know if there's any other uh, builds you want to know how to make. And I'll try and figure out how the mechanics work, how to make a good... I say good vehicle, how to make a vehicle that works using those mechanics. And I'll try it out. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of these. And yeah. See you guys in the next one. Bye.